Okay, here we are standing the front stoop. Uh, this door is, I'm trying not to touch stuff. I don't know what kind of crappy paint job that was. It's like got sand in it. It's weird. But, you know, they have, uh, oh, pergo-like uh, floors, laminate. There's a little coat closet. I should tell you with my videos that you often have to take Dramamine. I'm not a professional photographer. So you got raised vaulted ceiling in here, skylight. Um, I have no idea what that little thing's for other than putting tchotchkes on there and collecting dust. Uh, looks like a gas starter in the fireplace could probably convert it to gas logs but that means it has a flue and you can burn real wood you know they have this off-white you can see kind of the color from the base molding to the walls um it's actually got a tad bit of yellow basically i'd repaint but um yeah i might not have to but i mean this kind of floor is really inexpensive but for a rental property, it's good because they can't tear up the carpet. <laughs> um, you have Formica in the kitchen. You have some... Actually, these look like maple cabinets. The cabinets have got 42s. That's got a lot of... That's got a lot of good storage space. Is this an Asco or a... Oh, it's a Samsung. Um, these look relatively newer. Um... Yeah, I mean, you got a little seam here that's showing that looks like they caulked. Um, Eat-in dining area, it's nice. It overlooks at the at the back here. We're actually when you see the you know the other part of the video, this goes downhill to the creek. I would want to make sure uh, they don't get water in the crawl space ever or much. Um, you can see some houses are up the hill. I'll, I'll have a video outside. Actually, I'll send you the outside video first, and then I'll do the inside, but I'm shooting this one first. Okay, so that was, we'll go in a minute in that open door. There goes to a bonus room and the, uh, the garage. So this is master. You know, I'm going to guess it's about a 13 by... 14 something like that it's adequate you know if you had a king this looks like a queen and uh you know it just fits inside the jams you'd be hanging a little on either side uh you got a double bowl vanity cultured marble you know old light fixture um and some of this i'm not sure why this is this is like somebody tried to do something they thought was cool. I don't know what that wood thing is there for. It doesn't make sense to me. Um, but just a fiberglass insert, you know, tub shower combo. Got a little accent of, you know, not too cool looking tile across. Um, you got the throne area here. Little window out back. These look to be not original windows, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, it's a pretty small closet. Um, sorry, I don't have really cool lens or anything to give you an idea. But, you know, you got this run right here. You got the back wall and then that little one there. It's a little tight for a master. Then you got the bath here for these that bedroom and for this one. Still got the uh, pergo like laminate. Oh, how nice is that? Um, is that actual tile? Wow, somebody did that on purpose. Um, well, there's probably a time that it was cool. Another fiberglass insert. Um, there's a little caulk there. I don't know that I see any. There's a little 
chip there, but I don't know that it's got it. You could just actually put a little silicone in there for now. Or they have these kits that you can, uh, you know, they're just cosmetic-y little stuff. You know, this is not that attractive and it's got some wear on it. Um, you know, but it looks functional. Got the older fixture as well. The um, little round top window. Might get a, a fair amount of natural light. The, the issue is we're down, once you see outside, you know, it's got trees around, so it shades a lot. So there isn't a ton of natural light that's coming in at this point. So it's kind of the good with the bad. You got a lot of trees, which people like, but uh, it's not letting some light in once these things get the leaves on them. Plus you're downhill up against another hill. It's apparently the workout bedroom and where they take phone calls. This room looks like it's about like a 10 by 12 from that wall to this wall, but then it's got that little angle on it that makes it a little smaller. Mm -hmm. Typical kind of secondary bedroom closet. Mm -hmm. uh, basic digital. Mm -hmm. You got a couple uh I don't know what those stained glass things are for. <laughs> now we'll go upstairs a minute. So here's a little walk down. I got a couple steps. This is a wah, wah, wah. Uh, washer and dryer are in the garage. That's kind of a drag. Kind of a drag. Um, you know, it's a small garage. A lot of these 90s garages are small. And it doesn't help with all this stuff in here to show how small it is. Got a gas water heater. Uh, trying to not touch stuff, but um, I'll see if I can get a, a gear on it. Um, hmm. I'm just thinking out loud. I don't want to waste too much of your time, but it's possible. Well, because the garage is a pretty short throw. It might be humanly possible, uh, I have to think about it more, if you could build a floor up here, and if it weren't for the power being right here, I wonder if it'd be possible ever to uh, put the, um, in essence, kind of get it to become part of the interior, but all the kitchen stuff is not going to let you access it from a door there. Hmm. That's kind of a drag uh, from, well, whether you owned it or uh, living in it or renting it. I'll tell you, they'd never do it in Michigan. Okay, so we got this bonus room up here, closet, so it can be a bedroom. You know, it's got reasonable size, but they got one of these uh, units like this. They don't have, um, they have like a register there and so you know the reason they put a window unit there is if there's another yeah there's another register down there um it must not get enough oomph in the uh in either the summer probably the summertime so you got a lot of walk-in storage that's nice this is a little oompa loompa door here but climb up and in there, you got a lot of good storage. I kind of dig that. People, especially when they're renting, if they don't have to have a, a storage unit, that is, you know, an advantage. <laughs> That's a, looks like it goes all the way, almost all the way or all the way to that side and all the way to that side. It's a long run of storage or a closet. So, I mean, the carpets, it's kind of hard to tell because it's just never been swept. Um, it actually feels like very good carpet. Um, yeah, it is actually good carpet, but the color's not exactly current. 
but as a rental, it might be the way to go. I can chat more and think more with you about all this while I'm on the fly here. I, um, okay. You know, it's got some pros and cons, but um, I guess the sticker price is just so sweet. Um, I will walk out on the deck just for a minute and then, uh, but I'll, I'll shoot another section of video. So the pad, the, the deck here is not very big. Looks like it's about 10 by 11, something like that. But you got this cutie little creek that's running there. We had one to two inches of rain the other day. I don't see any evidence of, uh, anything concerning but you know one never knows but i'll get another shot uh from down i got booties i have to wear and um there's where the uh um chimney is showing it's a wood burning fireplace okay uh you get the other video in a sec